Pack. Today we're going to go through and show you guys pitching with Mueller. Alright, so let's break them down real quick. Control 184, it's above average. Velocity 190, movement 159. I do not like that. But the spin 215, again, when you throw with a pitcher that has high spin, typically meaning that he can throw a pitch and it goes somewhere. You take the spin, reduce the spin, it's gonna, it might end up somewhere different. You just don't really know, which is kind of helpful when his, you get his sinker ball, that spin kind of typically helps. Now, he's hitting 168 like typical pitchers, and again, he does have this high RPM ball that just has flames on it that doesn't really do much for batters. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we get paired up with. It's taking a while, so I would believe it to be a bot and a great opportunity again. We're going to go up against the Mueller once again. Phillies, Nicholas. Okay, so we're going to be able to see different perspectives from the pitching and the hitting perspective, which is really helpful, I think. Now, before this update about seven months ago, Mueller was probably the most dominant pitcher in the game in a lot of people's opinions. And they kind of nerfed him, which a lot of people that used him disliked quite a bit. Because that sinker ball was nasty, had a nasty cut. And now it's, a, it's, it's pretty predictable to kind of see the cut even at like a level 13. All right, so kind of what I'm doing here is just kind of working the sides, looking the angles. Um, and again... With Harden, you know, pretty high contact. So it's sometimes a little difficult to get on, but... All right, so sinker ball pitchers usually induce some ground balls. And this guy's off to running the races already. Okay, so... Oh, we put ourselves with a little bit, of, little bit of a disadvantage now with first runner getting on and then getting over. And now he hits. I don't use Mueller that much anymore, and the reason why is this, so, all right, so I'm trying to get a ground ball here, that's really the main, main strategy, and control, not so great right now, but definitely trying to work the angles, all right, so we put ourselves at a nice little disadvantage right off the bat and now you're gonna see if I can actually make a comeback right but that's gonna be it. that's another part of the video that's my last video down by three so we got to show you guys how to pitch with Mueller and right now this is not the best best experience but that's kind of how it works sometimes sometimes you have a lot of benefits and a slow change up this is where Kevin's speed is a disadvantage so that kind of helps all right so now we're moving on and again, Mueller, three pitches, two-seam fastball, right? Again, utilize the fastball as much as possible. Try to get the runners off balance. There we go. A little flame ball kind of helps. And then, you know, hopefully you can kind of work the sides and try to get that sinker on the inside to do jack exactly that. You want to try to get those strikeouts. All right? So here we go against Alex. Swinging through a fastball. In a future video, I'm going to talk about when to walk somebody and when not to walk somebody. Um, I've been had that request a little bit because some people don't like pitching against certain batters in certain situations. Like for Alex, you know, walking somebody and getting the bases loaded—that's where her skill level is at. But again, Mueller, it just seems much slower when the pitches are coming. All right, well-timed little high RPM ball. Okay, so we're down by three with Mueller. Not a big deal. Happens. But now we got to make the hits to come back. So now we're going to see it from this perspective. And again, understand the strike zone, especially being down by three. Understand where the sinker ball is coming from. So again, Mueller definitely knows, like you could see the cuts, 
right? His changeup is not deceiving. Again, it's not a lot of movement, and it's slow. And just got to kind of understand the strike zone. And don't be too impatient, right? All right, so we're right back into it. And again, once the Mueller's fastball, two seam fastball, no movement, so it's pretty much a slow four seam in my opinion. It's just that sinker. That sinker is the one that's pretty decisive in a way. All right, it's a little back-to-back -back jack. So now let's see if we can end this game with the Kevin Blast for the third home run. And no, all right. So you got to lay off those flame balls, right? When Mueller throws those flames, it's not helpful for anybody. And sometimes you'll get three in a row, and it's just unsatisfying. All right? But don't be afraid of Mueller, and don't be afraid of someone with a low ERA either, right? Just you got to understand your strike zone, where the pitches are coming, understand the, how the movement of the sinker works. All right, so now we're coming down to the wire here. Luckily, we've tied it up. Let's see if we could end it. All right, high fastball. So again, we've got Michael. It likes going against right-handed batters, as you can see. Okay. A little low. Typically, that would be, in my opinion, a ground ball. And, all right, a little bit up the middle. All right, let's see if Jess can get this game over with. And then you swing at a strike, and you don't get it sometimes. So, understand, again, you've got to come back. Now we got Mueller on with two runners on, right? So, let's try to see if we can induce that ground ball and pull up a triple play. All right, got the ground ball. And a little bit slow. Annie is pretty quick, so it's definitely difficult to get that going. But yeah, you gotta be able to use the strike zone, understand how to get out of the jam, right? So no run, two runners on with no outs. Try to get to the strike zone. Striking people out is not always gonna be beneficial. Okay, Mueller batting, great. So we have Ruth on second base. Let's see if we can end it with Mueller can help himself out. Um, and he does. So this is the benefit of Mueller. Oh, and we get a tag. We're going to do a video on Ruth tagging as well. But that's pretty much it. Have a good one. See you next time.